Sydney, hi, how are you? Hi, I'm so good. Thank you for having me on today. How oh my gosh, I'm so excited to connect <laughs> with you uh, and to see your bright face and that amazing smile of yours. Um, all right, before we start the Biscuit Blitz, I want you to tell our viewers your name, who you are, uh, how long you've lived in Charlotte, and what you do, if you can even king <laughs> But so many you, things. We'll, let's do that first. Okay, I am Sydney Duarte, also known as the Traveling Gypsy. Um, I've been in Charlotte for almost 18 years. I moved from Kentucky and yeah, Charlotte's been my home for a long time now. Um, and what I do, I usually joke and tell everybody I do everything but knitting and plumbing. Um, just <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess my motto is wellness, oneness and adventure. And that encompasses all the things. Um, so I teach yoga, um, mostly at Nodi Yoga and the Whitewater Center, but also leading adventure retreats all around the world. Um, and let's see, so that's like the wellness part of it. And then adventure could be anything. I take people all over the city and not always with me physically, but on Instagram, I do a lot of videos and teach people about new places to go. and. Uh, an adventure could be right outside your backyard. It could be a new park. It could be a new ice cream space, um, a new hobby that you've always wanted to try but never really took the time to dive into. So just kind of encouraging people to get out of their comfort zones and, um, you know, go explore because I hear a lot of people say Charlotte doesn't have anything to offer and it makes me so sad because I'm like, no, there is so much here that will blow your mind. Honestly, there's so many things. And um, just let me know what you're looking for. Is it music? Is it art? Is it community? Is it uh, food? Whatever it is, there, Charlotte definitely has a lot to offer. Um, and always telling people to go to Creative Mornings because it's such a wonderful place. <laughs> it's such a good place because a lot of people are looking for community. Um, so that's where the oneness part comes in. If you don't know where to even begin to build a community, maybe you're new here or maybe you know, you've outgrown people, maybe toxic people in your life, or you just left a new job or old job, <laughs> old job and are looking for a way to find a new space to be in. Um, yeah, I'm always trying to connect people with each other so that they can really thrive in their life and have other people that feel like a team that are like really lifting you up and encouraging you and motivating you and, um, so yeah, I guess, did that answer the question? I don't know. Oh, it totally answers the question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wellness, oneness, and adventure. I mean, this is one of the reasons we love you so much, Sydney, is that you you are, um, you represent, you sort of manifest all the things that we also see as being so important to living a great life and to mm -hmm. be a great community member. And um, so you bring that to life in so many ways and we love it. Okay, I'm gonna start the clock so we can, um, you know, okay, dive into yes. questions. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, the, the five minute biscuit blitz. Um, <laughs> so so let's, let's first of all talk about um, kind of high level. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think the role is of creatives as we work through these challenging times? All the, all the shifting sands of our world right now. What role does, do creatives mm. play in that, do you think? Well, a lot of, what I've found just like throughout, I've always been in creative since I was, you know, since I was born, um, just making things and taking them apart and putting them back together. But um, I find that a lot of us live in our own head. And uh, I mean, I think most people do. And you are working in your little silo alone. And when you reach out and bring people together, um, and I've seen it starting to morph over the last couple of years, but um, especially in creative spaces, people are very protective of their artwork, of their style, of their whatever it is, of their idea. And when I'm, I'm especially with the mural that was just done in the streets of Uptown, those were a lot of artists that don't normally come together, that came together, were pushed together, and you're teaching people to really like think outside of the box and think of, um, you're bringing hope, you're bringing like new ways of thinking because not only are you letting your guard down to not just be in your silo anymore, there was, um, there was one artist who I haven't met in person, 
uh, art by Abel is what he goes by on Instagram. And I love he talked about like living in his head, which I do a lot, um, and thinking that you're here and doing life alone when there are so many of us that are going through the exact same thing. And if we would just like have the courage to reach out and speak up, you're going to wake something up in someone else that is going through the same thing. And then you guys get to do life together. And then you get to like create new projects together that you never thought could have existed. But you have your puzzle piece and they have their puzzle piece. And when they come together, like it, boom, it explodes into something that you never thought possible. And then you can tie more people in. So I think, sorry, I'm rambling, but the, no, the role of the creative, I think is to wake people up to new ways of thinking, to, to show that you can create anything that you want, no matter what it is, even if you don't feel artistic, our art can be literally anything. It could be your voice. It could be what you draw, what you, maybe you capture um, an amazing photo that tells so many, you know, uh, what is it? A thousand words. Uh, what is this yeah, quote? Picture, picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There's so many ways to express yourself, whether it be through movement, it could be through yoga, it could be through dance or play or, um, you know, protesting speaking what is on your heart because you don't know how many people are feeling the same thing as you are and by you voicing what's going on inside of you you're igniting other people to do the same and giving them the courage and the power that they may never have thought existed inside of themselves but by them seeing you doing you being you and living in the way that you live it will wake them up in a new way of of thinking of being and you know, hopefully building that sense of community to, to say, hey, I'm here and I'm not afraid to be me and you don't have to be afraid to be you too. So like, let's do life together. Let's figure this yeah. out together and let's build something amazing. And that's why I love Charlotte is Creative because you guys are always encouraging like new projects, new ways of speaking and, um, you know, creating and bringing people together. And I don't think a lot of people have had that in their life. And it's so beautiful to see and be part of. Um, so yes, the role of the creative to wake people up, to bring people together, yeah. to make you think outside of the box. And even if it's a hard thing to, to, to witness, to feel, to um, it, like Ohavia uh, speaking so much truth and not being afraid to say all of it because everyone needs to hear those things. And um, I mean, not, not just in that, but in art, uh, art in general, like this is life. This is things are meant to be seen and felt and heard. And so much of our older generation, it was like, we don't talk about the things we don't feel the things you don't feel those feelings, but why we're human. We're built to feel all the feels to connect with people to be real, to be open, because if not, you're living someone else's life. You're pretending to be someone you're not, and no one can ever, ever like truly connect with you and love you for who you are if you're not being who you are. And it's beautiful to be who you are, even if it's different, because there's no one else that's like you. You are the only you that can ever exist. So yeah, oh my gosh, I'm out of time. <laughs> Well, you make my job so easy, Sydney. So so I love it. Here's what I'm hearing. I hear, I hear that you're saying that the, the creatives can model collaboration, connection, and courage. Mm -hmm. And through those things comes healing. And, yes. and, and, and a time when we all need healing, we all need to feel loved and cared and, yeah. and connected. Creatives can model that and even provide that in some way. And mm -hmm. so I love that answer. It, and it, it's so reflective of, of everything you are, everything you stand for, and everything you do in the world and in our community. So we're grateful to know you. I'm grateful to spend a few minutes with you on the Biscuit Blitz. <laughs> and I'm especially grateful for the light that you bring into our community. Um, we need it. And you, you are it. So thank you for everything you, you do. Thank you for everything that you do. I'm excited for all the things the future holds for all of us. It's going to be good. It's a, it's a big, bright future, and uh, it's going to be even bigger and brighter if we lock arms and, and stay together. Yes, um, we're all in this together, for real. That's, so. right, that's right. Thank you so much, Sydney. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day.